The Lord makes us clean. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Amy Boucher Pye. Amy writes, When I opened our dishwasher, I wondered what went wrong. Instead of seeing sparkling clean dishes, I removed plates and glasses that were covered in a chalky dust. I wondered if the hard water in our area was wreaking havoc, or if the machine was broken. God's cleansing, unlike that faulty dishwasher, washes away all our impurities. We see in the book of Ezekiel that God is calling his people back to himself, as Ezekiel shared God's message of love and forgiveness. The Israelites had sinned as they proclaimed their allegiance to other gods and other nations. The Lord, however, was merciful in welcoming them back to himself. He promised to cleanse them from all their impurities and all their idols. As he put his spirit in them, he would bring them to a place of fruitfulness, not famine. As in the days of the prophet Ezekiel, today the Lord welcomes us back to him if we go astray. When we submit ourselves to his will and his ways, he transforms us as he washes us clean from our sins. With his Holy Spirit dwelling within us, he helps us to follow him day by day. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Ezekiel chapter 36, verses 24 through 32. For I will take you out of the nations. I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Then you will live in the land I gave your ancestors. You will be my people and I will be your God. I will save you from all your uncleanness. I will call for the grain and make it plentiful and will not bring famine upon you. I will increase the fruit of the trees and the crops of the field so that you will no longer suffer disgrace among the nations because of famine. Then you will remember your evil ways and wicked deeds and you will loathe yourselves for your sins and detestable practices. I want you to know that I am not doing this for your sake, declares the Sovereign Lord. Be ashamed and disgraced for your conduct, people of Israel. That's today's scripture reading from Ezekiel, chapter 36, verses 24 through 32. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for transforming us into new people. You have cleansed and forgiven us, Lord, and it's wonderful. Help us to follow your Spirit daily and to become more and more like Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.